How you doing? This is the guy from Pittsburgh, and I want to talk for a minute about the occupant of the White House, Mr. Obama. This weekend, the revelation came that he said in a talk with his advisors that he was good at killing because he launches drone strikes at suspected Al-Qaeda leaders, at suspected Taliban leaders, at people who engineer attacks against our buildings, our embassies, our consulates, and our people. We just killed some guy who was supposed to have been the prime mover for the first attack on the World Trade Center. And unlike other presidents named George, George W. Bush, who were called cowboys by the left and the media, who were called, warm, called warmongers, this guy is a warmonger. He revels in death. He revels in destruction. His drones have killed people who did, had nothing to do with Al-Qaeda, nothing to do with the Taliban, nothing to do with attacks on America or its citizens. And he thinks it's great. He even had a little speech he gave at the White House where he told a rock band, or country band, I can't remember, to leave his daughters alone because he said two words, predator drone, and they'll find you. And he thought, ah, that's so funny, I'll launch a predator drone at these guys. So, once again, this guy has shown up for what he truly is. He revels in war, he revels in destruction and death, not only of our enemies, but of the innocent. And with every passing day, his poll numbers, numbers plummet. He's at 42%. And the leftist media out there going, Ooh, what's wrong? His poll numbers are dropping. Oh, no, what will we do? And I don't understand why they're dropping. They're dropping because the people are waking up to this guy. Now, he just passed an, or an executive order giving him more power over the environment, over the government, in case there's another hurricane like Hurricane Sandy. This guy writes executive orders like a check passer writes about rubber checks. But hopefully we won't have a Democratic-controlled House in the next congressional election, so they won't feel that they have the mandate which he didn't have a mandate in the first election because a lot of people didn't vote for him or refused to vote for him or refused to vote at all because they didn't like the candidate Republicans were fielding. And they won't feel like they can amend the Constitution and send it out to be voted on by the states to allow the President of the United States to run for a third term because that's what the Democrats would love. They don't it's want to eight o'clock. there. They would love to have Obama as a third term and a fourth term and then lead to a dictatorship. And now the latest thing on Obama, there's a YouTube video where a guy who says he was a former CIA agent who says Obama himself outed his, him and broke his cover in China, where the guy says he lost $150 million. He was running some kind of church school over there. He says Obama arranged the debts of Breitbart and the author Tom Clancy. I don't know if that's true or not. It's a hell of a revelation. But I doubt seriously if you hear about it anywhere on the news, leftist media or Fox. So there's all, and he, he also said there's all kinds of communist sympathizers that Obama has put in every department of the government. And that I can believe. Because the communists, they lie low for a while, like the cockroaches and the weasels they are. Senator McCarthy, they've made him out to be a bad guy, but we found out recently, 
It's been proven. There were communists in the State Department. There were communists in the government. And if you're a communist, you're against America. You're against this flag that some guy didn't like because I was wearing a flag. Everybody who's ever seen this shirt says, cool shirt, I like your shirt. I'm going to keep wearing it. You don't like it, don't watch my channel. I stand up for America. And as far as I'm concerned, Obama's a communist. His wife's a communist. He's got people in his government that say they admire Mao Zedong. He had a communist um, czar that had to quit who admitted he was a communist and communists lay low but they always surface like the pond scum they are so don't buy into the BS of Obama and the lies of him and his fellow commie travelers out there because We've been trying to tell you what bad news he was and what bad news the communists were. The right in this country, the conservatives have been telling you that since Barry Goldwater and before. And I'll tell you another thing about Mr. Goldwater. I'm reading his book, his autobiography. He's gotten a bad rap. People said he wanted to end Social Security. He didn't want to do any of that when he ran for president. He wanted people to take part of their money and invest it on their own, separate from Social Security. But there were scare headlines put out by newspapers, scare programs, all kinds of shady tricks by Lyndon Johnson, Bill Moyers, that made him look like some kind of wild-eyed radical one to blow up the world with nuclear weapons. When Goldwater was in the Air Force Reserve, he was retired as a general. He loved this country. He would never have used nuclear weapons unless he absolutely had to defend this country and its troops and its people. So don't buy into that BS either. But he wanted to throw the old people out under the bus and eliminate Social Security. He thought many things were unconstitutional, like being able to refuse to rent someone because he didn't think it was in the Constitution and the federal government was overstepping its bounds by giving power to itself that reserved to the states. And he was called a racist when he was one of the first guys to integrate his Air National Guard unit that he founded in Arizona. So don't believe the stuff you hear about him and a lot of conservatives, because a lot of it's lies. But the problem is the media prints this stuff, and later on, they retract it. Oh, we're sorry. We we didn't mean to say that lie. But by then, and that's on page 38, buried under the uh, Macy's ad in the New York Times or the San Francisco Comical. But by then, the damage is done because people believe the lie because they're not intelligent enough to go search for the truth. Never believe the lie question authority, question liars, question the media. That's what you need to do. And the number one thing you need to do in this country with the 2016 elections coming up, 2014 congressional elections coming up, question the Democrats and question Obama. And don't let them run the country and tell you out there what to do. It's got to be the other way around. You tell them what to do because you're Americans and the government shouldn't be telling you what to do. You should be telling the government what to do. This is a guy from Pittsburgh saying I'll catch you later and I hope you have a great, great day and a great evening. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.